Hi, I'm Howard Newman. My wife, my assistants, and I restore unusual art objects. Today we're going to show you how we have restored this 19th century marble bust of Caesar Augustus. Caesar Augustus came to us in two broken main sections. One of them, which you see here, is the bust itself. You can see that it is quite dirty. Here at the neck you can see there is a previous deep crack suggesting that the entire head was severed at some point. There's a lot of dirt. Take a close look at his nose and his ears. This is the sokol, or traditional lathe turned base for a bust. As you can see, it's had a pretty rough life. Note the section on the lower right that is totally destroyed. In the middle, something has exuded from a hidden crack that probably goes across the entire sokol, which hints at the reason for the break. And at the top, you can see the fracture where the sokol has broken away from the bust itself. First, we're going to do a basic cleaning of both of these pieces so we can see any issues the dirt is hiding from us. The dirt has two levels, surface soil and deep resinous stains. First, we're going to deal with the surface soil with washes and very dilute acid. Then address the deep stains with a solvent impregnated poultice. Next, we're going to analyze the weakness that caused the break in the first place. Then design and create a hidden reinforcement and reassemble the sokol and the bust. After the bust is whole once again, we're going to fill the gap at the bottom of the sokol along with other missing pieces and grind out and fill the old cracks like the ones you saw around Caesar's neck. Next, we're going to fare the forms at our fills. Then we're going to inpaint the fills to match the surrounding surfaces. Next, we're going to mount the bust on a pin at the center of Caesar's stone base to make it entirely stable for display. And finally, we're going to apply and buff several coats of wax to unify the entire reconstruction into a contiguous piece of art.